Hello, with Kelvin here. So today we will discuss about find in mountain array from weekly contest 142. So let's start. So this question is basically asking us to find a value and return an index from an array. So the array itself is um, having a sequence of uh, keep as do uh, goes ascending and at one point it keep goes descending and for uh, forming a mountain. And if you notice here, there is no duplicate value because it says like a0 is smaller than a1, a1 is smaller than a2 and so on until certain point ai and after that it will go decrement, right? So the limitation here is we cannot perform this um, searching by on because here if you see, uh, we cannot access the mountain array directly and we are given an API for getting it and uh, knowing the size of the array and here it's make sure that we cannot call the get for more than 100 times and if it's more than 100 times it will assume it's a wrong answer so how do we fix this how, how do we try to solve this problem like the approach so yeah um, the basic idea here is we can try to perform a binary search but the problem with binary search is it only support like the if the array is all sorted right not like um, going increment and decrement so we can try to solve this problem in two parts so the first part is the, the basic idea here is we try to um, search it through the increment sequence here and then if the element is not there and then we try to find the um, our element in the second part of the sequence which is the descending part so we can perform a normal binary search on the first section and normal binary search on the second section right so now the problem changed to become how do we find such a big element so it's very easy to do we can also perform a binary search to find the this this pivot by um, taking the you, same we can use binary search so we guess one number let's say this is the low and this is the high, right? So we try to find a mid, let's say the mid is here, right? And that mid number, we can decide, we, we can check the left, we check the left value of it and right value of it. And as you can see, it's less, I mean, um, it's still doing increment order here, right? So, in it it means like the pivot is not here and it might it's it should be on the right of it and we try to perform our next recursion here so given this range of low and high we try to find the mid and we notice like um, it's going decrement it means it's not here either so we move the high here and low here and then we find a five which is still a uh, decrement so we move the H here and L here and then we find the mid 6 and then here we notice like it's going up and going down right so we find the pivot of 6 and then we perform the binary search on our first part and perform the binary search on the second part so that's basically the whole idea of how we solve this problem so let's jump back to the code so as you can see here um, this is the array so like i explained before and this is the target value and then we try to find the index of such value you notice here like there is two um, value of three here but it asks us to return the minimum index here which means from our um, explanation before we should search it on the left part of the we should try to do a binary search on the left part and then do the binary search on the right part afterward if we cannot find it on the left one previously so yeah mm. as you can see here i create a get mount value this one is just to catch the mount value just in case uh, if we already call the mount array dot get index on the mount array itself we won't call it again but we already catch it here so we don't call the mount array and spending our 100 lim limit call there so this is the main method 
and you can see we try to find the peak so peak is the value of 6 here to, def to divide our array into the uh, ascending sequence and the descending sequence and then we try to find it on our ascending sequence and if the value exists we return the value directly but if it doesn't exist then we try to find it on our right part which is from the peak of 6 until the end of the array and then return such result so how do we find the peak as I explained before um, we try to find the mid value yeah so as you can see here um, the value here is going up so mid is higher than the value before but mid is lower than the value after it so it means like this is the increment and decrement so we return that as the mid and otherwise we find here like the mid is larger than the previous value and the mid is smaller than the value next to it it means it's an uh, increment right so if it's an increment it means we are still the the, the pivot is still too left means we try to find from the mid plus one until until hike to find our peak next like we move our pivot to the next next to the mid as the new low point and if we find the next the last uh, condition here is if we find that the value is decrementing means um, our mid is a bit to the right means we need to find it from the low until mid minus one means yeah and this minus one basically will never happen because these three condition is the only thing that is possible to happen it's possible that we make it as an else if and else but um, it doesn't mean uh, I, I, I don't really change it at that time and the next thing is search ascending and descending as you can see this is just a normal recursive call on the first sequence and second sequence probably we can simplify the code but yeah this is a very normal binary search and we can return the result and you can see here if we cannot find it in ascending we return minus one and descending if we cannot find it we also return a minus one so once we fail on the left side we try on the right side but if right side fail or not fail, we will return it as a result minus one as a not found and or the index itself. Yeah, and that's basically it for this question. So thank you for watching my video. And see you on the next lead code contest. Thank you.